Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Only a short video today. Well, hopefully short, I'll see how it goes. Um, I'm gonna do a loadout video of all the gear I'm taking to the Swiss Alps next week. I'll go through all the items I'm taking individually, then at the end I'll stick it all in the pack and see how much it weighs. Uh, just to let you know, Simon's got pretty much the same gear as what I've got. The only thing different is he's got a different rucksack and he's carrying the tent. So I'll go through every item bit by bit. So let's get on with it. Let's start with the rucksack I'm taking. I'm taking the Osprey Exos 48 litre pack. This is my summer bag, but I sometimes use it in the winter as well. I've also got an Osprey rain cover because these ones don't come with one built in so if you want one you've got to buy one separate so I've got that in case it rains and inside the pack I'm going to put a pack liner and the pack liner I got is an Osprey size large 70 litre to 100 litre so obviously that will go inside the pack and then all my gear will go inside the pack liner and then that will keep it all nice and watertight. Right, moving on to probably the most important thing in your pack and that's your sleep setup. The sleeping pad I'm taking is a Firmarest Neo Air X Firm. Probably the best pad I've got and I won't use anything else now. This is my go-to pad whenever I'm wild camping. So yeah, awesome bit of kit that is. So that's my sleeping pad. Moving on to my sleeping bag. I'm taking the Nature Hike CW280 Goose Down Bag. Nice and lightweight. It packs down to virtually nothing in that stuff sack. So that's basically why we're taking it. it takes up less room in the pack and it's lightweight. We've tested this on a recent camp and yeah, it works quite well, so hopefully that'll do the trick in in the Alps next week. Moving on to my pillow. You've all seen this before loads of times. It's a Trekology a left 2.0. Folds down, packs down nice and small even. So yeah, that's my sleep system. Next up is my cooking system. It's a minimalistic uh, system as we're only boiling water because we've got free dried meals I'm taking my Lixada 650 titanium pot with the lid I'm using my BRS 3000 stove I'm taking a lighter titanium Cedar Summit long handled spork I've got a base for the, the gas, the gas will go on there and I'm taking my wide sea wind shield so basically all that will fit inside the pot the pot will go in the mesh bag and all that will fit inside the windshield all nice and all nice and neat and you'll probably notice there's no gas there and the reason being is you probably know you can't take gas on a plane so We've um, done some research and when we get to Zurich train station just outside there is a outdoor shop that sells gas so we're going to get um, a couple of gas canisters when we get there and then put them in our packs and hopefully there shouldn't be an issue. Now let's look at the food we're taking. Me and Simon have got identical items. We were looking at loads of um, Adventure Foods Online, Cedar Summit, Fire Pot, all the rest of it. And we thought, hang on, real termat are probably the best you can buy in the UK at the moment. And I went on Base Camp Foods and saw the three-day ration pack. This is what this, this is, a three-day ration pack. All this costs £75. I know it sounds expensive, but in that you get four main meals. You get free breakfast like a muesli, 
they're all like a muesli, them free. You get six energy drinks. And I got free lemon, free peach. That's the ones they sent me. You also get four energy bars and two protein bars. And we know as we're hiking through, we'll come across the odd restaurant. So we can get ourselves a decent meal if um, <laughs> we get bored of all this lot. So yeah, it's going to be good. Right, moving on to clothing. I'm taking one pair of mountain equipment Ibex trousers. I've got the mountain equipment Ibex shorts, which I'll be wearing. I'm taking one Montane long-sleeved base layer. I'm taking two spare t-shirts, plus the one I'll be wearing, so I've got three in total. I reckon that'll be more than enough. A couple of spare pairs of boxer shorts, you don't really want to see them. And three pairs of socks. I'll be wearing one of these, well, a pair of these. And I'll have two spare pairs in case my feet get wet. So that's all my clothing. Next up are the coats and waterproofs I'm taking. First up, I'm taking my Montane Gore-Tex rain jacket. Definitely taking that. Um, you never know what the weather's going to be like in the mountains. We all know the weather can change at any point, so that'll keep me dry. Also, I'm taking a pair of Rab waterproof trousers. And that are those there, nice and lightweight, and they'll fit nice and tight in that stuff sack. I'm not going to be taking my light line jacket over there. It's a bit heavy and bulky. Also, I don't think I'll need it anyway. But instead, I'm going to take this mountain equipment synthetic jacket, lightweight coat. That, that should be plenty warm enough for the night. And that'll just fit back in that stuff sack nice and neat. So that's uh, the coats I'm taking. Moving on to hats. I'm taking my Fjall Raven bucket hat. I'll probably wear this most of the day if it's sunny out there. Which it most likely will be as it's the end of June. So that'll keep the sun off my head and the back of my neck. So I'm taking that. I'm debating whether to take a baseball cap. I might just throw it in the pack. It's not that heavy and it's an extra hat to take. I'll be taking this North Face beanie in case it gets a bit cold at night. It's only lightweight and that should do the job. I'll also take my Wales buff that can go around my neck to protect my neck from the sun or so I can stick it over my head if it gets too hot. So I've got a few options regarding hats and I'll probably take off all four of these items with me. Moving on to a few miscellaneous items. This is a recent purchase. It's a knee brace. Definitely going to take this. I do have um, some knee pains now and again, especially descending the mountains and this will be invaluable over there. Definitely taking that. Got a small first aid kit, which contains plasters, bandages, uh, painkillers, the normal things in the first aid kit. Definitely need to take one of them. Moving on to my Petzl Actic Core head torch. It's got a uh, rechargeable Petzl Core battery in there, which I can charge up if need be. Also, I'm taking three AAA Duracell batteries as backup. So that should be plenty of power for the head torch. Taking my super lightweight multi-mat. Always take this on camps. Lightweight, something to sit on and you don't even know it's there. That'll just slide in the front of the pack. I've got my arm four litre chest pod. Very handy bit of kit. I can put my phone in there. Uh, batteries for the GoPro, protein bars, 
that sort of thing. Also taking my Katadin B3 water bottle filter. That's going to be handy, just filling up on the go as and when required. Right, let's check out the electrical items which I'll be taking in my pack. Starting off with the GoPro batteries, I've got 8 in total, 5 Enduro and 3 normal ones. One of the Enduro batteries is in the camera while I film this now. Taking 3 SD cards for the GoPro. I think they're a mix of um, 62 gig, 32 gig. So that's plenty enough uh, storage for when we're filming. The power bank I'm taking is the Anchor 737. Not the lightest uh, power bank around, it weighs 630 grams. But it sure does pack a punch. I can charge up an iPhone 10 times with that. So yeah, a good bit of um, capacity on that. Simon's also taking a three panel solar charger, which he's going to strap to the back of his um, rucksack. So with that and the anchor power bank, we should be fine for um, charging various bits up. I've got the cables there for the for my iPhone and for the anchor power bank and the GoPro camera. I'm also going to take my Ulanzi light that will act as a lantern in the tent as well. Save me taking a lantern and um, it'll save me a bit of weight as well. So that's um, all the electrical items I'm taking. Next I've got this bag with a few uh, essentials in. I've got um, some suntan lotion which will be um, much needed out there because we're walking around in the sun all day. Well I hope it's sunny but you never know. Also in there I've got a tough brush, tough paste, an emergency thermal blanket. You never know, might need one of them. Got my five days medication in there. I've got a spare lighter. And I've got eight coffee sachets, two per day, and a hot chocolate if I fancy one of them. So that's all the um, contents of that bag which I'll be taking as well. Just want to show you something else me and Simon have bought. We bought these, we bought one each. They're made by Highlander. It's like a luggage cover so once the packs are fully loaded we'll just unzip it, put our packs inside there, zip it back up and get a luggage strap strap it all together nice and tight because um, we're going to be putting our rucksacks in the hold of the plane and when they're going around on a carousel if the straps get jammed up they'll just cut them off there and then and with this it's going to be all nice and uh, secure inside nothing's going to be flapping around so that's an important important um, purchase I think so if you're ever going to be hiking abroad and you want to put the, your bag in the plane I'd suggest getting one of these only about 16 quid and um, yes just peace of mind really right the most important thing we're going to be taking is the tent and the tent we are taking is the REI co-op flash air 2 you might have seen it on previous videos we've used it a few times now I'll put a picture up there of it if you haven't seen it before so Simon's going to take the main tent section. I'll be taking the stakes, the pegs, and the hub section, the poles uh, on the top. I'll be taking them in my pack. And also I'll be taking my black diamond trekking poles, firstly to be hiking with, and secondly to use on the, on the tent. These will go either side basically substituting the poles so we can leave them behind just to save weight 
So that is the tent we're going to be taking. I'll um, put everything in the pack now, take it up the back, hang it up somewhere and uh, see how much it comes in weight wise and I'll let you know in a minute. Right then, the backpack is fully loaded apart from the tent pegs and the poles which I have to take and two bottles of water maybe. I'm probably going to take two 500 milliliter bottles of smart water something like that so the weighing scales are ready there they are I know they're pink sorry about that they're not my scales they're them um, Karen's right let's have a look and that is about 11 kilos give or take I'm quite happy with that um, with the water the poles and the, the pegs probably take it up to about 12 kilos something like that but the food itself weighs 1.2 kilos on its own anyway and day by day that'll be going down so that'll be just over a kilo less so yeah pretty happy with that I reckon that's pretty manageable so anyway um, I hope you found this video informative and it could be of some use to you in the future and yeah thanks for watching and we'll see you on the trail bye for now